Yes, Patrick. Cool, man. I'm going to put you on hold, and you'll be on with Christina Bali, okay? Fantastic. Thank you. New thing. What are you talking about with me? No. Just in general. That's them. Oh, are you to hit to sex? No, it's been a... Sex? I mean, That's my favorite topic. A meetings, like an AA <laughs> meeting for probably 20, 30 years. Or more. Maybe the people perusing the porn and whatnot on the I mean, this the is internet. a serious addiction with people. <laughs> what are they talking famous, about? very famous one is Michael Douglas. <sighs> oh, yeah, he admitted it. Admitted? Yes. Oh, yes. Did you see him and Catherine Zeta Jones at the Oscars? It looks gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. And they looked so happy. She was like, I was so proud of her when she got her Oscar. And, and she's like, I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> but they were really cute. Okay, joining us now right here on Broad Minded, we have director Dan Niera from Wanna Be Me. Hey, Dan, how are you? I'm good. How are you? It's a pleasure. Great. It's a pleasure to be with you. We are in preparation to start shooting in April, so everything is moving along as it should. So tell everybody, if they're just tuning in now and they don't know about Wanna Be Me, tell us about okay. the show. All right, the show is about, it's, it's really a satirical look at Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's what really goes on in the industry, but looked at from, uh, with, let's say, with distorted glasses on. So a good example of that would be, for instance, uh, Get Shorty uh -huh. uh, or Be Cool, which is the sequel to Get Shorty. Uh, so those are good examples of the kinds of uh, the, the approach that we're going to take with the series. Can you tell us a little, I mean, not to give too much away, but can you tell us a little maybe from the first episode? Okay, the first episode we really introduce the characters. So it, there's three women that are really the principals in the, in the story. And they're very different, and yet they all want the same thing. They all want to become famous in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're really introducing them. We're, we're introducing the cast of characters, who they're involved with, and the situations that uh, sort of get the whole story rolling, so to speak. What's the demographic? We're, lo we're looking for an audience uh, between 18 to 34, I would say. Yeah, they're on the Uh, there are other shows that have that have uh, come out, but we are certainly in the cutting edge. We're one of the yeah, first I ones. I don't know that I know it. I mean, I don't know that I've heard of them or wanted to watch them. I guess maybe that's the point. I have heard rumblings of other shows, but the rumblings. <laughs> but we are certainly the best one. Now, what were you doing before this? Did you uh, stomach growling? I've been I've been doing this show. I've been doing uh, television and film for about. Uh, well, I'm going to date myself for over let's say 18 years. You're not that old. I'm looking at your birth date right now. By the way, I'm a Sagittarius too. Oh, well then I like you already. Yes, I'm November 30th. Oh, 24th. Born in Buenos Aires. I was born in Buenos Aires. I speak Spanish fluently and that's my mother tongue, so to speak. Now, how long did you live there? I lived in Argentina the first five years of my life and then my, my parents moved to Peru, actually, where I lived another four years and then came to the States when I was about nine. Yeah. Now, some of the actors that are going to be on the show want to be me. Are they new actors, up and coming, or are they established actors? You know, uh, I can only speak for the, the present cast, and we have some very established, very talented uh, actors who have, as you can imagine, we were looking for actors who have a really good sense of comedy. Uh, so the ones that we have cast all have a lot of background. That doesn't mean that we're not going to include, as the series progresses, other people. But, you know, we're looking for a certain look and, and certain qualities in these actors, so. Right. And so, when, okay, now, you guys start actually filming when? April, the first week in April. First week in April. Oh, you don't even start. Oh, you don't start. So, because we're going to talk to you when you guys are actually on the set filming, which I think is really cool. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. We'll welcome you there, and uh, you guys will always be the first to know what we're up to, so, so to speak. You know, we'll give you a little preview of what's coming up. Oh, great. This is great. And uh, do you do those Verizon commercials? I just have to ask really quick. I do, I do do some of those, yes. Not all of them, because they, they hire a lot of other companies besides ours. But yes, I have had the privilege many times of working with, uh, with Verizon and four of them. I look forward to talking to you again. Thank okay. you. I should mention 
Uh, I directed a movie called Spin prior to uh, uh, getting involved with Wanna Be Me. In fact, Shalim Ortiz was one of our main cast members. And we're actually in the process of turning Spin into a webisodic that will uh, take a look at more the, uh, the music industry. Uh, Wanna Be Me is, is, a, is a satirical look at the television and film industry and Spin takes a look at more of the music side of it. But we have already been in talks with the producers of Wanna Be Me to be able to merge the two storylines together every now and then in certain episodes, which I think is going to be incredibly fun and, uh, and, and great for both of us. So again, I'm looking forward to directing Wanna Be Me and uh, stay tuned. Thank you.